So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so simply click on start lab and open the console incognito window now here basically you have to sign in using the username one so just check the username one from the lab instruction paste over here hit enter and then copy the password over here and again click on next after that you have to just click on i understand and just proceed as i'm following in the video Here basically if you get this kind of pop up simply click on I agree and agree and continue and the next step is that you have to activate the cloud shell. How you have to activate the cloud shell just next to the Gemini icon you can see the cloud shell button. You have to click on it and then click on continue and then just authorize yourself. So just do it as I am doing so that you are able to complete this lab without any issue. Now in the description box of this video, I've shared one GitHub repository, we'll be using that only. First of all, you need to understand that we are using the cloud shell command to complete this lab. Do not worry, it's safe and convenient. First, we'll initiate the SSH session where we'll be working on it. So just paste it. Now here it will just initiate the SSH session in which we'll be working on it. So after that, you have to copy the second command over here and paste it. And now we have to authenticate ourselves from the basically the selected username one. So click on this URL and just select the student ID. And after that, you have to simply click on continue and just allow all the permissions listed over here. Just click on allow and simply copy this and paste on the cloud shell and hit enter. Now wait for this to get completed. After that, we have to check the score only for the task number one. And then we have to move forward to the next step of this lab. Now it will take some time. And once it is completed, you can see over here that you have to check the score for task number one. So let's come to the lab instructions page, basically the lab manual page and check the score. Okay, come over here and simply come to task number one and check the first checkpoint and second checkpoint. Once you are sure that you have got the score for both the tasks, then only you have to come to the cloud shell session again, type Y and then simply hit enter. Now you have to click on this link and this time instead of first username, you have to sign in using second name and for the password come over here. I repeat, you have to use the second username for sign in. Now click on I understand and then simply again, you have to just follow the same method. Click on continue, allow and just copy the code from here. And simply you have to just copy the code from here. Just do it as I am doing so that you get full score on this lab. Here, simply click on allow, copy this code over here, come over here, paste and hit enter. Now it will initiate and create the configuration for user 2. Now here we have to do three things. First we will export the project ID, username and the zone. Do not worry, I will show you how you have to do it. Now here simply paste the project ID 2 from here and then user ID 2 like here. Come to the task number 4 and here you can see the zone. Copy it carefully and make sure there is no extra space or dots paste over here. One more important thing if you are getting an error like resource limited or you are getting multiple errors then simply the solution is that you have to restart the lab and complete the lab. So this was the quick update I wanted to share. Now once it is done, we'll move forward to the lab instruction and simply check the score. And if you are completely new to this channel, do like the video and subscribe the channel guys. If you face any error, you can let me know in the comment section. All the solution for all the labs, skill badges are present on the playlist. You can check the master sheet for the description, sorry, on the description too. Here if you want to enable this yellow check my progress, you can check the description box and keep hitting check my progress, basically check the score for all the tasks, you will definitely get full score without any issue.